Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with the Flash Game U podcast, flashgameu.com. And every once in a while I get a quick little question, and that's very intriguing. Uh, for instance, I got a question just a few days ago about pausing sound. Uh, somebody had seen the previous tutorial on a toggle button that basically had a play button that would then change to a stop button and back again and play the sound. Um, the thing, of course, is that every time you toggled on and off, it would start the sound over at the beginning. The question was, of course, how could they pause the sound? Um, so it really doesn't have anything to do particularly with the toggle button, but since that's where the question came from, I'm going to start with the toggle button example. I've actually created a new copy of it called Pause Sound. And instead of putting a looping sound in there, I substituted a scale, a musical scale. So let's go ahead and test this movie here. And you see as I hit play, it'll play a scale. And I hit stop, play again, starts over. So you can see how the change is needed here. Now it turns out it's a very simple change. Unfortunately, there is no pause in ActionScript 3. So what you need to do is create your own. It turns out this is very easy to do. Let's go ahead and take a look at the process here for creating something like that. So in this example, here's all the toggle button code from the previous podcast. Um, we have the start song and stop song. So let's go ahead and just try to figure out what we're doing here. We'll, we'll do uh, a trace function and song channel and position, which will tell us where the sound is. And we're going to do that just before we hit stop. So if we run the movie now, we see we get a number here. That's a millisecond, so 1.3 seconds into the sound. We can do it quicker. You can see it's half a second. We'll play it longer. And we can see it's longer. So now we've got the right thing. So next step then is to use this. We'll go ahead and we'll store this in a variable called last sound time. And we're going to make this a property. If this was a class, it would be a property of the class. Um, we'll make it a number and we're going to set it at 0 as a default value. So at the beginning the last sound time would be 0 which would correspond if it's the first time the sound is playing. Then every time you stop the song it sets it to the last time it was played there. So all we need to do then is modify the play command in the start song to put this variable in there and it should start playing the sound at that exact time. So three simple little changes. Let's see if it works. There, it works pretty well. So it's a quick and simple way to create a pause functionality. You have to extrapolate for your need for a pause. And of course, it's not going to be perfect. Uh, it's not going to give you the exact time over the stop, unfortunately, due to the nature of how sound streams. But for something like creating a pause button on pausing uh, some sort of sound playback, it should be pretty useful. I'll post the, the code for this modified toggle button example at the site. And of course, you can see the full resolution video of this at flashgameu.com and also the uh, get the download the source files there. So until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with a very short little podcast. Thank you.